and welcome to episode 23 of our Snowflake Snow Pro Advanced Architect Certification In-Depth Training Podcast brought to you by Brightflux. I'm your host, Yaqub Abdul Hakim, a certified Snowflake user, excited to delve into one of the most critical aspects of data security in Snowflake, column level security. This episode is designed to provide you with comprehensive insights and prepare you extensively for your certification exam. Let's get started. Column level security in Snowflake is a powerful feature that allows you to protect sensitive data at the most granular level. Unlike traditional security measures that operate at the database or table level, column level security enables you to apply precise access controls on specific columns within a table, ensuring that sensitive information such as personal identification numbers, financial details, or health records is only accessible to authorized users. Understanding the importance of this feature, especially in the realm of data governance and compliance, is crucial for not only passing the SnowPro Advanced Architect Certification exam, but also for refining your skills as a data architect. Firstly, we delve into the concepts of column level security in Snowflake. At its core, the feature leverages a combination of access controls and masking policies to secure data. This involves defining roles with specific permissions and applying those roles to users or integrated services which need access to the sensitive data. Additionally, the utility of dynamic data masking comes into play, allowing visibility to data based on the context of the query or the user executing it. Moreover, Snowflake supports various methods to implement column level security. These include using secure views, secure UDFs, user defined functions, and row access policies. Each method offers its unique advantages and scenarios of use. For instance, secure views provide a layer of abstraction over sensitive data ensuring that users can only access data they are permitted to see. On the other hand, secure UDFs allow you to apply complex logic to determine data visibility, making it a flexible option for more sophisticated requirements. Finally, row access policies can complement column level security by providing row level access control, enhancing data security even further. Furthermore, establishing effective column level security in Snowflake necessitates understanding the role hierarchy within Snowflake's access control framework. Roles play a pivotal role in determining access to data. Thus, designing and implementing a comprehensive role-based access control strategy is essential. This involves not only assigning the correct roles to users, but also regularly auditing and updating role assignments to reflect changes in responsibilities or data access needs. To successfully implement column level security, practitioners must also be proficient in writing and applying masking policies. Masking policies dictate how data in a specific column should be displayed to users who do not meet the access criteria, ranging from fully masking the data to showing only partial information. Mastery in SQL and understanding Snowflake's policy syntax are fundamental skills required to intricately define and manage these policies. Lastly, best practices for implementing column level security revolve around the principle of least privilege. Always start by granting the least amount of access necessary and incrementally add permissions as required. This minimizes potential exposure and risks associated with data breaches. Additionally, incorporating continuous monitoring and auditing mechanisms ensures that your column level security setup remains robust and compliant over time. To conclude, mastering column level security in Snowflake is not only imperative for your certification exam, but is also crucial for safeguarding sensitive data and meeting regulatory compliance needs in today's data-driven environment. 
As we wrap up this in-depth episode, remember that the key to success lies in continuous learning and hands-on practice with these security features in Snowflake. Thank you for tuning in and I hope this episode has equipped you with the knowledge to excel in your Snow Pro Advanced Architect Certification exam and beyond. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will explore another fascinating topic in the world of Snowflake.